Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. Today we're reviewing the Puffco Plus, baby. This is the Vision version, right? It was limited edition. I don't think they sell this anymore, so you probably can't get this version. They have a black and white one. I think they call it Onyx and Pearl, but anyways, a black and white version. And anyways, I'm super stoned, yo. <laughs> this is take number two, and in the first take, I took a bunch of hits, but then I felt like I... I don't know, I went in weird directions and I was like, let's just retake it. But the challenge is, I was sober for that one, and this one, I am super stoned. So, anyways, let's get going. So here's the device, right? The metal is this beautiful iridescent metallic color, right? I really like this, uh, whatever they treated the metal with, right? In the middle right here, this is the oven, and over the oven is a silicone guard. That's because this gets hot after extended use. You might want to have your hands on the silicone guard just because it will get hot, right? This is the power or all function, or the only button on the device is right here. It looks green, but when the device is on, depending on what you're doing, it will light up to different colors, right? On the top right here, you have a blue uh, silicone mouth nib, nub, I don't know what you would call it, but this is where you put your mouth, right? In order to open or access the oven, you put your hands here over this piece, and you twist and turn, and you're going to notice, number one, that there's a little bit of rosin on this little dab tool, right? And that's because there's a dab tool integrated into this uh, the mouthpiece. If we press this silicone part down right here, and we press it, we access more of this, uh, of the dab tool, right? And the cool thing is, when you're cleaning it, you push this and it will come all the way out. In fact, I bought this device used, I was gonna make the review a while ago, but I didn't have any rosin, and I decided to make rosin today because I got the G-Pen higher. I can't wait to review this puppy. So yeah, that's coming next week. And uh, anyway, so, it's cool that it's integrated into the unit so that when you scoop rosin, in fact, let's scoop a little more because it, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through the end of this video, but let's scoop more. So come to this camera, you look at this beautiful rosin that's in here. We're gonna scoop just a little bit of it up, maybe something like this, right? All right. And now here you have options, right? And what I mean by that is you could leave it on the dab tool. That's what I usually do. Uh, or you could come down in here and push this on the side of the device and get it down in there and push this down. And when you push this down, right, notice the, the threading is right here, but the mouth or the, the nib is inside. So you got to press down. That's going to force this through. And then you start turning to tighten it, right? And as you do this, you're going to notice this mouth nib comes back out exactly how you want it right? One of the things that you should note is it, the, the oven is here, right? So if you take a hit and you turn this puppy on its side or upside down and the rosin liquefies because it's being heated up, then what's going to happen is the oil is then going to seep this way towards your mouth or maybe it's going to get in the gunk in there, etc. Obviously, you could clean it, but you don't want to do that. You also don't want to sip any rosin. It wouldn't taste very nice <laughs> and oof, you probably get super blitz. But yeah, don't do that. I don't recommend it. Um, but yeah, so keep the device like this when you're hitting it. Don't hit it like this or have it all the way up in there. Just have it up and down like this. And let's turn the device on. In order to do so, there's a button right here. We're going to press it five times. I'll go to this camera, right? One, two, three, four, five. Now it's on. It's blinking green. Green is the middle power uh, mode, right? There's a, there's a one, two, and three. I was going to say a start, a middle, and an end, but that's not it, right? There's a is low, medium, high. I don't think it's that either. There's three different power modes, right? Blue is the, the bottom or the lowest power setting. Green is the middle power setting. And then like a whitish yellow is the, the hottest setting. We're going to work on it in green. But if we wanted to change the power setting, we press this button four times. I'll do that. Let's do it on this other camera. One, two, three, four. Whoops. One, two, three, four. Now it's the green. One, two, three, four. Now it's the yellow, which is the highest. One, two, three, four. Now it's blue, which is the lowest. We'll go back to the middle. One, two, three, four. It's now on the green. That's exactly what we want it to be on. Now, in order to hit this, you have two options. There's a session mode where you press the button twice. It will heat for 12 seconds, allowing you to take your hit in that time, and then the oven or the temperature will shut off, right? Alternatively, you could hold the button down, and it will be on demand. So you hold the button down. It's going to heat up as long as you're holding the button down or until it reaches 12 seconds. And at that point, it will blink, telling you that, hey, we're going to power down for a second. And I assume this is not to overburden the atomizer or not damage anything or make things last longer, but I don't know. Huh? So you could do one of two things. Usually what I do is I press twice. It's going to start the session mode, right? 
I wait a few seconds, three, four seconds, something like that, then I press the button to stop it, and I hold the button down to take a hit. I don't think you guys realize some of these, these videos, right? I'm making it and then I get to a certain level of high and then I'm like, I need to finish this video. But when you're a super blazed, I'm telling you, this is like a challenge, like doing 500 push-ups or something. I don't know why. Like I did the motion of push-ups. You got like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's hit it again. And then let's talk about, you know, what do I think about this device? So this time I'm not going to press it twice. I'm just going to press it once and we'll just do the on-demand. This device is quite nice. I don't even, I didn't even want to like it. Now granted, I know that I bought it and I bought it because of the color, right? Because it's a limited edition, but I didn't want to like it probably because of two things, right? Number one, they don't work with influencers. So they won't, they didn't send this to me and they wouldn't have sent it to me. So that kind of irritates me. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's probably not really a big deal for basically anyone but me, right? So or other influencers. Um, and the second thing is, if you read online, there are millions of reports of them having shitty customer service in regards to warranty or other issues. In fact, there's no 800 number where you could call them, right? Which that kind of sucks. But the device, <laughs> it's nice, yo. It's 100 bucks. It's more expensive than other wax pens out there, right? In fact, I have another wax pen from another manufacturer. It's 50 bucks, right? And this is 100. Which one is better? For sure, this one, right? Is it 50 bucks better? I don't know how you quantify that. What I could tell you is this. I like the fact that there's an integrated dab tool in this mouthpiece. That shows a really nice design thought and it's very convenient. It makes it more plausible to take this with you places to be able to scoop rosin. If you have another wax pen, what are you gonna do? You put it between your legs like this, and you're gonna then take the rosin container and then the dab tool. And do, you know, that's a bit too much, right? Whereas here, someone you tell someone, "Hey, hold this right quick," uh, and I don't know if you make that noise. You can if you want. It's not trademark. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I think number one, that's amazing. It does get quite warm, so that could be a downside. Does it get? It doesn't. The other device I have doesn't get as warm. But this feels and seems more powerful. And what I mean by that is like the vapor production seems greater. I didn't take these, the, I didn't do these massive dab exhales, but, but you can because after the 12 seconds and it blinks, wait a second. And if you can hold your breath and go for another round, you wait a second. And then after a second or two to press the button again, you get 12 more seconds and you can take a bigger, bigger, bigger hit, baby. Could I have said bigger one more time? Probably not. I am so high. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling good and I'm really liking the rosin. I just made it today uh, specifically for this video and also for the, the G-Pen Hire. And um, yeah, it's tasty, my lips, as I'm talking, I'm I still taste it. Anyways, it's beautiful. What are the other drawbacks of this device? The charger, right? In order to charge this device, you're gonna hold right here where the oven is and you're gonna turn. Now, instead of showing you on this camera, let's go here. We're gonna turn and it's gonna take the bottom part off. Now I'm trying to keep this up just because it may be liquidy inside because the rosin was heated up, etc. Now this is the battery. If we wanna plug it into their charger right here, this is how you do that. Now this charger is unique to them, right? It's got a little light right here when you plug it in, which is going to light up, et cetera. But this, if you lose this, you have to buy another from them. This doesn't work on other devices. So, okay, for me, this is the biggest drawback. Now, what they would probably tell you, or the argument for why, why this is important, is this is their supercharger. It charges the device in 30 minutes. I didn't check that, right? <laughs> I never plug something in, set up a timer next to it and be like, I'm gonna make sure those manufacturers are lying, baby. <laughs> I mean, whether it's 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 28 minutes, who knows, but they say 30, right? Which is pretty fast to fully charge this battery. But I would rather, it take an hour or two hours or whatever, and then use a regular cable that could be used with other devices. So if I lost it, then I could just use the other cable. So I think that's important. And I think they really, 
I mean, anyways, I understand every company looks for ways to make money, and for sure this is one of them. And I'm not saying that the convenience of a 30-minute charge is bad. I'm just saying that I would like an option. Maybe this is an, like an additional purchase for those who are impatient, which I am, so maybe I'd buy it anyway. But I would rather have a regular USB-style connection on this, maybe on the bottom, just plug a USB-C and call it a day, and I would feel that is the best bet, even if it took two or three times as long to charge. That being said, vapor production, ridiculous. Taste of the hits, ridiculous. This thing, oof. Uh, yeah, should you get it? Even though I want to say no, I think I say yes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not really hating on Puffco. I like their stuff. The Cupsy is pretty awesome for such a small thing. This is awesome. I could only assume, based on my knowledge of two of their products, that the Peak is an awesome device too. Plus, they have quite a user base, right? So they're doing something right, even if they have shady customer service. But again, I've never called their customer service, so it's not like I could talk about that. I'm only saying what I've seen online in tons of reviews, etc. All in all, I probably would recommend you get this device. Well, it hits ridiculous. If you are a concentrate person, if you got rosin or you make rosin or you just enjoy rosin, then pff, why not, right? Would I get this over the... I mean, what a crazy brain fart. It happened twice, right? I started talking and I was like, what was I going to say? I was going to say, would you get this over a Puffco proxy, right? The plus or the proxy, which would you get? I've never tried the proxy. I've tried a copycat of the proxy, and I would say get the plus over that copycat, but I don't know how good the proxy is. People say it's great until I try one. I don't know. Anyways, guys, gals, I hope you like this video. I'm so high. I don't know if I could like edit this video today. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself one of these times super high. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna break my finger. You guys, I'm gonna, I'll probably release the video. I'll be like, what a fucking idiot. Anyways, guys, gals, everybody, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. Deal, baby. Till next time, I'm out.